Hi, I'm a pretty big user of Camtasia and I've been using it since about 2006. In this video, I'm gonna show you some of the best time saving devices, tricks, techniques that you can use to really save your time when working with Camtasia. And I'm gonna make these very simple because there are some more complicated things you can do like cop templates, etc. But I'm gonna just focus on really obvious things that you might not be doing when you're working with the technology. If you do happen to see this video before the 30th of April 2024, there is the opportunity to join me in a free webinar sponsored by TechSmith Camtasia where I'll be showing you lots of tips and tricks working with Camtasia. Now I make educational videos and I will focus on those but this webinar will be relevant to anyone working with Camtasia, particularly if you're looking to learn some new and more advanced techniques. I'll put the link below in the description, but I'll also leave at the end a QR code on the screen where you can get the information because you do need to register if you want to come along to this event. Let's get started. So the first time saver that I'm gonna show you is that if you want to, for example, add cursor effects to the individual videos, and you can see here we've got a number of videos on the screen. Okay, see so this is me recording a PowerPoint presentation, but video by video. I can just simply right click here and then choose select all media on track. Now all the media is selected. So let's imagine that I wanted to add a cursor effect to all of the media. I can now go to cursor effects and just drop that on and it will be applied to every video. And you can see now the cursor effect on the video. Okay, let's just change the color to make it really clear. So I'll just choose the color there. And if I now went to another video, you'll see that again, the cursor effect. So in just literally a few seconds, I've now applied the cursor and the cursor effect to all of the videos on the timeline. And now that point that I've just showed you about accessing all the content on the timeline doesn't just apply to using the cursor. Just to give you another lovely example, if I was to, again, just right click here and select all media on track. And I just wanna make a point here. Another way of doing this is hold your mouse down and just go right across. You can also do it that way. Now watch this, if I come down to the transitions, so I'm gonna choose a transition that I like and the one that I'm gonna work with for this one, let's do one that's really obvious. So we're gonna come down to 3Ds and we're gonna do one that we often see, which is cube rotate. So if I just drag that, because again, I've selected all of the items on that timeline and drop the cube rotate, it will now actually work on every single okay, video. Okay, for this next time saver, I'm gonna zoom right in because I wanna show you something that I literally use all the time. If I move this video down just a little bit, so I just wanna to play to you a little part of this video. Let me just play it so you can hear it first. Okay, moving on to the final point, and that is about connectivity. And what I really wanna say, <coughs> now I've got a cough here, and obviously I don't want that. And so what I can do is, and this is really clever, is making sure you've got both uh, parts selected. I want to delete both the audio and the recording at that point. What I'm gonna do is use this here, just grab this end and mark out the, the chunk that I wanna cut out. And then there's a fantastic setting in Camtasia. If I right click and it's called ripple delete and what it does is it deletes that chunk but it also brings the video back together it restitches it together without that chunking so if i click on ripple delete now what you'll notice now is that the coffin's gone and if i play it and what do i really want to say about connectivity is it okay and you can just about see a mark there this is a real time saving device ripple delete you don't have to mark one part mark the other and then cut it out no you can just select the area press ripple delete and immediately it's deleted so this is without doubt the time saver that i use the most I save bits of video or little chunks of video that I'm gonna use in all of my videos. I save them into my library. 
so that I can use them again and again. So for example, I always use the same ending at the end of every video that I've got. I also have the same advertisement in the middle of the video, and I often have a filler at the beginning that I'm always using. So there's no point in me keep doing that video every single time I make a new video. I might as well save that little video chunk into my library, and then I can use it again. So just to give you an example of that in action, let's actually look here. If I come up to my library, I click at the top here. Now you've got, of course, your Camtasia library of free assets that you can make use of, and these, of course, are gonna save you lots of time, but you can also make your own libraries. And you to make a library, just click create on create new library, and then you can save video chunks, images, sounds, etc., into that library. Now I have many libraries, but one I have is called Russell Library. And here is where I have all these common bits of video chunks that I use in nearly all my videos. And you can see them now. So for example, I always use the same ending and all I need to do is literally just grab that ending and drag it onto the screen. It's that simple for me to make use of that particular um, video asset in a video that I'm creating. Now you might ask yourself, well, how do you put these videos into your video library? Well, it's or into your library assets. It's that easy. What's this? Let's say, for example, this chunk of video here, I wanted to make this an asset. Okay, I wanted to save this as a bit of video that I might use again and again and again. I can literally just select it, and then all I need to do is right click and click on Add to Library. Choose the library where I'm gonna save it, so I'm gonna save it into Russell's Library. Give it a name, so best to name it, and then click OK, and then that object that library asset will be saved and you will be able to access and use it again and again. And of course, that means every time that you reopen up Camtasia, it will be there. So when I open up my Camtasia every time now, those library assets that I've saved are there. Now, the other interesting thing is that you can even do this with content that you might import. So for example, just to show you another way of working, let's say I import a video. So I'm gonna quickly import a video from my computer and I'll just grab something really quickly here. I know I've got some things called motion graphics, for example, that we can use. So if I just grab a motion graph background video, let's say for example this one here, and I click on open. Now let's say that I know that this video asset, I'm gonna be using it a lot more in the future. So just easiest thing for me to do now is to right click on that piece of video, and again, what I can do is add to library. And I can now add that and say which library I want to add that into. And that will always be now in there and available for me. This is a huge time saver for me because it means that the common bits of video, even images and audio that I'm always using, I've got them saved in my library and I normally organize it. So I've got various libraries with different content like audio and videos and the common things that I use in my videos. A massive time saver. Okay, really hope you liked that video. Don't forget, if you do see this video before the 30th of April, 2024, you can join me in a free webinar sponsored by TechSmith Camtasia. They will be there and we'll be showing you lots of very useful tips and tricks when working with Camtasia. You do need to register. You can use the QR code that's on the screen or you can just access in the description below the link uh, where you can register for the event. If you don't wanna come along, if you can't actually make it on the 30th, but you just want a copy of the recording, if you register, you will be sent the recording afterwards. Finally, if you're interested in using Camtasia, I'm also gonna put in the description below a link where you can download and test it for free, a link where you can also get a free course in Camtasia, which I produced, and also a couple of links where you can get extra discounts if you decide that you want to buy Camtasia. Thank you very much.